Hello everyone, welcome to Backbenchers Coding. In this Android tutorial, we are going to see Android input controls, which are checkbox, radio button, toggle button, switch, and spinner. So let us look at them one by one. First, checkbox is a two state button represented by a checked and an unchecked state. Multiple selections can be done using checkbox. Next, we have a radio button. They are also a two state grouped buttons which are used and grouped together in radio group. Unlike checkbox, only a single selection can be made in radio button. Next, we have toggle button. It has on and off state that can be used to initiate an action as well as change its previous state. With toggle button, we also have an alternative called switch which uses a similar concept. It differs only in design from toggle button. Next, we have spinner, which is a composite control that displays a text view and an associated list view that lets you select an item from the list. So let us implement Android input controls. For that, open Android Studio. Start a new Android Studio project. Give it a name as Android input controls. Select a company domain and a project location and click on next. Select phone and tablet and click on next. Here select empty activity and click on next. Here the name of activity is main activity. Uncheck the checkbox of generate layout file and click on finish. So now that our project has launched, let's start our emulator. Go to AVD manager icon and click on the play button. Now that our emulator has launched, go back to Android Studio. Here in the resources folder, we will create a new directory called layout. So go to new directory layout. This will keep a track of all the views which we are going to use in our application. Now within this layout folder, create a new resource file, new layout resource file and name it as activity underscore checkbox. Here the root element is linear layout and click on OK. Now go to the text tab of activity underscore checkbox dot XML. Here first we'll create a text view for that text view width as wrap content height as wrap content text as select multiple apps ID as text view underscore question text size as 25 SP margin as 10 SP. Now we'll create four checkboxes for that checkbox width as wrap content height as wrap content text as Google map id as checkbox one next we give it a text size and margin text size as 25 sp and margin as 10 sp similarly we create three more checkboxes so copy this code so its design will look somewhat like this here you see one text view and four checkboxes now we go to main activity dot java let's call method set content view to call xml layout in our java file so set content view r dot layout dot activity underscore checkbox. Now create class variables of all the four checkboxes. So checkbox, checkbox one, checkbox two, checkbox three, checkbox four. Now let us get our XML controls in the form of Java objects by connecting it through their IDs. So checkbox one equals checkbox find view by ID r dot ID dot checkbox one. Similarly, do it for all the three checkboxes. Now we will attach a listener to these checkboxes to provide them a click functionality. So checkbox one dot set on click listener within which we pass new view dot on click listener and override the method on click within which we write toast. A toast is a small message or a pop up that appears and vanishes after displaying the corresponding message. So the message we are going to display here is box dot get text dot to string. Now copy this code and do it for all the three checkboxes. Now our application for checkbox is complete. Let's see its output. So hit on the play button and click on OK. So this is the output for our checkboxes. Let's click on them and see what happens. So if we click on WhatsApp, it shows me the corresponding output. Here, as I mentioned before, multiple items can be selected. Now let's try another input control, which is radio button. So go back to Android Studio, create a new layout file. 
So right click on layout, new layout resource file and name it as activity underscore radio button. Root element is linear layout and click on OK. Now go to its text tab within which first we'll have a text view which is same as we did for checkbox width as wrap content, height as wrap content, text as select single app, id as text view underscore question, size as 25 sp, margin as 10 sp. Now what we do next is we create a radio group. Radio group is a group which consists of multiple buttons. So width is wrap content, height is wrap content, id is radio group within which we will create radio button, radio button, width as wrap content, height as wrap content, id as radio button 1, text as youtube, size as 25 sp and margin as 10 sp. Similarly, we create three more radio buttons, copy this code and within radio group, paste this code and create three more radio buttons. Now I have created radio buttons like this and I have changed their text as well as their IDs and their design will look somewhat like this. Now let's create a Java class which would be the controller. So new Java class and name it as radio button activity and click on OK. Now since it's an activity, it should extend app compact activity. So extends app compact activity after which right click over here and go to generate override methods select on create method now we will call our xml file within this file with the method set content view and pass as parameters r dot layout dot activity underscore radio button now we will create class variable radio group radio group radio group and we'll get its control from xml file so radio group equals radio group find view by id r dot id dot radio group now we will apply listener to radio group so radio group dot on checked change listener within which we pass new radio group dot on check change listener and override the method on check change now here we will obtain the id of selected button by using radio group so int id equals radio group dot get checked radio button id after which using this id we will get the object of selected button so radio button radio button equals radio button find view by id id and for this we will make a toast toast dot make text and display the corresponding message as radio button dot get text dot to string now our radio button java class is ready now let us make change in the manifest file go to android manifest dot xml and here change the activity to radio button underscore activity and now save it and run it so this is the output for our application as you can see we've created four radio buttons and now if we select on any of these it will generate the corresponding toast note here only one item can be selected at a time and now let us try our another input control called toggle button or switch so for that go to android studio in the layout folder create a new activity and name it as activity underscore toggle button and click on ok now go inside the text tab and within this create a toggle button width as wrap content, height as wrap content, id as toggle button. Now we will provide it a text when it is switched on which is named as text on and within this we are going to write Wi-Fi on. Similarly we will write text off and within this we will write Wi-Fi off. Provide it a text size as 25 sp and padding as 10 sp. Now after this we will create a switch which is similar to toggle button width as wrap content, height as wrap content text as switch status id as my switch text on as on and text off as off text size as 25 sp and margin top as 50 sp after this let us create a java class which will be the controller file so go to the package right click new java class and name it as toggle button activity click on ok now since it's an activity extends app compact activity and right click over here go to generate override methods on create and now we will call the method set content view to call our xml file so r dot layout dot activity underscore toggle button now we'll create class variable for toggle button as well as for switch so toggle button toggle button switch and switch underscore demo now we will obtain their controls by their id so toggle button equals toggle button find view by id r dot id dot toggle button similarly we'll do it for switch 
swish underscore demo equals switch find view by id r dot id dot my switch and now we will attach a listener to both of them so toggle button dot set on click listener within which we pass new view dot on click listener and override the method on click within which we will generate a toast so toast dot make text and write the corresponding message which is toggle button dot get text dot to string now similarly we will set a listener to the switch so switch underscore demo dot set on click listener within which we write new view dot on click listener and override the method on click within which we write an if statement if switch underscore demo dot is checked then toast dot make text and within which we pass switch underscore demo dot get text on as we want the switch to be on else another toast which says switch underscore demo dot get text off dot to string since we want the switch to turn off now here the coding is done let us make changes in the manifest file and change the activity to toggle button activity and save it and run our application so here we see the output the first is a toggle button where it's written wi-fi off if we toggle it then it shows wi-fi on and shows the corresponding toast whereas if we off it then it shows wi-fi off next we see the switch which if we click on it then it shows on and if we click on it again then it shows off now let us experiment with our last input control which is spinner so go to android application and create another layout file new layout resource file and name it as activity underscore spinner root element would be linear layout and click on ok here go to text tab within which we will create a spinner spinner width match parent height wrap content id spinner and margin top as 10 sp now let us create its controller file so go to your package right click new java class and name it as spinner activity click on ok now since it's an activity extend app compact activity and right click over here to generate override methods on create now we will call set content view method which will call our xml file so r dot layout dot activity underscore spinner after which we create class variable for spinner as we are done for all the input controls spinner spinner now we will get spinner xml control in the form of java using find view by id so spinner spinner find view by id r dot id dot spinner now suppose in spinner if you want to display a list of locations then we will create an array of locations string locations equals new string within which we pass as parameters the elements which we want to display india pakistan japan USA and China. After this, we create an array adapter of the type string array adapter equals new array adapter within which we pass as parameter the context spinner activity dot this, the resource android dot r dot layout dot simple spinner item and the third as our array which is locations in our case. After this, we write array adapter dot set drop down view resource in which we pass as parameters android dot r dot layout dot simple drop down item one line this is done to provide the drop down list a layout style next we attach it to the adapter by spinner dot set adapter within which we pass as parameters array adapter now we attach a listener by spinner dot set on item selected listener in which we pass as parameters new adapter view dot on item selected listener which overrides the method on item selected and on nothing selected in on item selected method we generate a toast in which we pass the message spinner dot get item at position and we pass as argument position dot to string so our code is complete for spinner let us register it in manifest file so go to android manifest file and change the activity to spinner activity so we are done and save it and click on play button ok so here is our output for spinner suppose if we select any item from the drop down list like pakistan so it shows its corresponding toast another one china and so we are done with our android input controls 
If you like our video, please share and subscribe. Thank you for watching. For more tutorials, please visit www.backbenchescoding.com.